groundbreaking discovery of robotic surgery has allowed minimally invasive surgery to be accessible to all. What normally were intricate and very difficult procedures for surgeons to undertake, open to fault and mistake, can now be perfectly executed with precision and accuracy. To understand robotic surgery, we have to define a few terms. Minimally invasive surgery aims to minimize the size of incisions made during surgery. It's important to note that this drastically reduces the trauma but, very, but is very hard for surgeons to perform. Robotic surgery is a method of minimally invasive surgery with a twist of using robots. Surgeons can operate with better precision, flexibility and control than ever before. Robotic surgery was in introduced to society through the invention of the Da Vinci system in 2000 by the American company Intuitive Surgical. Though only in the last decade has it gained significant attention and been adopted in hospitals. According to the Telegraph, surgical robotics are expected to increase dramatically in the next five to ten years. This prediction has meant more and more companies are developing new and advanced robotics to the surgical room. Though these more new recent discoveries are still undergoing clinical trials, so their effectiveness cannot be confirmed as of yet, but I'll touch on this later. So how does it work? In the operation room, spectators are often surprised at the setup of robot-controlled surgeries. The surgeon is at the other side of the room, far from the patient, controlling the Da Vinci system through a console, kind of like an Xbox system. The arms of the robot contain high-definition cameras and customizable instruments, and it is accompanied by the Artis Fino X-Ray CT system, which moves around the patient, delivering a 3D image to the surgeon. At the moment, robotic surgeries operate in procedures like urological surgeries involving the urinary tract, heart surgeries such as coronary bypasses, and surgeries involving the abdomen or pelvic region. And so why do we need robotic surgery in our society today? Well, minimally invasive surgery is the idealistic option patients desire when actually undergoing surgery. The smaller insertions mean smaller wounds, and smaller wounds mean less complications, a reduced chance of infection, and of course, most important, a faster recovery time. However, laparoscopy, the conventional method of minimally invasive surgery, is a very difficult technique for surgeons to perfect. This means that not only patients can actually receive the treatment at the demand it's requested. So, now using robotics, more patients can actually receive minimally invasive surgery and hence can heal and get out of hospital quicker. A surgeon from the Royal Prince Alfred Hospital it reiterates this. He says that, Robotic surgery has meant less blood loss, a shorter hospital stay, and less use of pain relievers than open heart surgery. So the main advantages of the Da Vinci, it enhances pre surgeon's precision and control. This is a result of the miniature instruments of the robot allowing a greater maneuverability than the human wrist. It also enhances surgeon's vision of the body cavity in subject because of the 3D and HD vision cameras. It also minimizes the effect of fatigue that surgeons also um, undertake when they are performing minimally invasive surgery. Um, this allows them to actually think through their next move and surgeons can perform more surgeries without a decrease in performance. And of course, it allows minimally invasive surgery to be more accessible to surgeons and patients. And of course, this will all improve hospital waiting times, a significant problem in hospitals all around the world. Currently, 10.9% of Australian patients are waiting almost over a year for minimally invasive surgery. So like all first discoveries, these issues are inevitable. And some of these for the Da Vinci system is that it's very costly at the moment. Um, it increases surgical times because of setting up and docking the robot um, and also loses the human-human touch between surgeons and a patient. This means that um, injuries could also go unnoticed because surgeons actually solely rely on their vision. But note, these minor issues are res the resulting issues of only just one robot on the market. So more and more robotic systems, as mentioned before, are expected to join this revolution. Society's history of miniaturizing electronics means that smarter circuits can be fitted into smaller and more versatile robots than those present in the Da Vinci. This will explain the range of procedures surgical robots can participate in and thus the size of the robotic market. And this prospect is already a reality. Many new surgical robots, including the Pistias, are challenging the market leader of the Da Vinci system. Invented in 2014, the system provides a more flexible, less expensive and lighter alternative than the Da Vinci system. And recently has claimed success in, the in its first clinical trial only a few weeks ago. 
The first city is performed minimally invasive surgery on a variety of patients with gastrointestinal problems and in the 30-day follow-up, all showed no adverse symptoms with the surgery. Another competitor entering, entering the market is the Monarch. Invented by Arias Health, it gained FDA approval in 2018. The system assists physicians in, in the early diagnosis of lung cancer, one of the deadliest cancers in the world. The system revolutionizes endoscopy procedures by inserting a robot in small body cavities, places really hard to get with the human hand. And at the moment, it's undergoing clinical trials and recently showed a 92.0% success rate in localizing pulmonary lesions. And these are a common lung cancer starter. So this will enhance early detection of lung cancer and hopefully decrease the lesion evolving into a malignant cancer. To conclude, the Da Vinci system started the robotic revolution in medicine, enhancing patients' lifestyles. It has made the most difficult surgeries, minimally invasive surgery, manageable to learn for all surgeons, and as a result, hospitals have reduced waiting times and patients can expect consistency and in their surgeries with limited complications. The age of robotics is open-ended, and I'm intrigued to see where this will take us in the new future. Who knows, robots could be completely operating surgeries by themselves and surgeons could be looking more, a little more like this.